Composing Gloves here, and today we're going to be talking about, yes, you guessed it, simple meter. So up until this point, we now know how to break beats down. We now know how to change them. Let me real quick just open up a new, a new thing next. Just a treble clef's all we want. Key of C. So we've talked about finish. Let me close that. Discard. Okay, so we've talked about time signature. We know how to break beats up. We know what 4-4 four, four means. And we know that this 4 is representative of a quarter note. They're representative of the different values. So like in reality, this um, th it makes no sense in 3-4 because the 4 in the bottom is no longer it represents a quarter note. So there's three quarter notes, but it makes no sense that it's like no longer a quarter of a measure. So it's just this weird thing again that we, we already talked about this stuff. So now that you know about that, we're going to build on this. So if you don't understand what I just said, then you need to go back and really take a look at that because you're going to get start getting lost here. So in I'm still getting used to navigating some of this. It's a little funny holding shift and control and doing all these things. It's the same way in FL though. So I really like that method of navigation, except for the fact that there are like no scroll bars on a single page. I wish there were zoom, zoom keys. So here, now we're going to talk about simple meter. So simple meter is whenever you can take a beat and divide it into two even parts. So if we take a quarter note, that's one beat, right? So we're going to enter note input mode and go bang. So that's, this is one beat and we could take this beat and we could separate it into two eighth notes and that will represent our entire beat. This is really great. This is, oh, okay, this is simple. Now we, we have stated that the beat that the quarter note gets it. So the quarter note gets the beat by putting this four in the denominator. We're saying, hey, there are four quarter notes, the quarter note gets the beat. So that makes a lot of sense. There are other uh, simple meters. So real quick, this is called a duple meter. So it can be divided into two and you will hear duple and triple because they are used duplets and triplets to move between time, time signatures, to move between not time signatures, but compound meter and simple meter. So we're talking about simple meter. We're going to deal with this whole concept after you know all the stuff you need to know beforehand. So let's go over to 3-4. And now my question is, is 3-4 a simple meter? The answer is yes, even though there's only three. Some people will be like, what, what, what? I know, I know. It's still a simple meter because our beat is still the quarter note and our quarter note is broken up into two equal parts. So we could have one, two, uh, we could do something like that. Whoops. So we can move something like that. It's interesting that it moves chromatically when you push up and down. And finale, it would move diatonically, which we haven't talked about yet. But don't even worry about that. So we've got one, two, three, four. Well, my bad. So this is the same as one and two and three and one and two and, and so on and so forth. So this is really useful. In 6-8, this, this begins to change. Things start to sort of shift around and stuff. That's compound meter. But in 3-4, we have our beat. We broke it up into two parts. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that is a simple meter. Now, if you hold down shift T, we can enter in more time signatures. There are other meters that are also duple meters, things that can be broken up into two parts. This is called simple, uh, simple... What did I call it earlier? Simple time, simple simple meter. That's right. I'm sorry. I don't know why that escapes me. So simple meter. So if we go over to 2-4, look at this. It shows us at the eighth note level, it gets broken up into two parts. So one and two and, and so it's just two parts. It's simple. It's easy to understand. You take your beat, you divide it in half, you get a simple meter. So one and two and three and, so we can create those rhythms. And then if we break it in half again, one and, one E and uh, two E and, uh, and so on and so forth. So four, four and three, four all contain this. Now we get to things like five, four. Welcome to the world of confusion. So we have options here, right? We can, we can break our beat up in the strict sense of simple meter. We can still break the beat up into two separate parts. So in the very strict sense, it is a, it is considered simple meter. So we have two eighth notes for every beat, right? But it gets more complicated because in five, four, you can group them in groups of like three quarter notes and two quarter notes. Like that's how they are barring them or beaming them here. So as you can see, the way they are beaming them is has been grouped so that these are the first three beats, these are the last two beats, and we enter this world of confusion. I'm not gonna deal, I'm not going to deal too much with 5-4, I'm, I'm not at all, but in this video, I just felt it was worth mentioning, things get more complicated as you move up levels. So most of the time, we're gonna be dealing with simple meter, like easy peasy, simple meter, and compound meter. So you could break it up. Another example of a simple meter would be something like two, 
two, cut time. Cut. To, this is the same thing as uh, as cut time. So here we have half note gets the beat, and there are two half notes in a measure. Half note can be broken up into two quarter notes, so it is therefore simple meter. If we did two four, which is already a thing, that's also simple meter, so no shocker there. If we did like uh, four eight, so four beats in a measure, eighth note gets the beat. I don't, you know what? If you're gonna write in this measure, I there are, I guess I haven't thought about it a lot, but. I don't know why you would choose to do this. I would write in like 2-4 or something. That'd be easier. People are going to look at 4-8 and think you're insane. But here it's the same thing. We could break our beat up into two equal parts. And so it's really easy to do this. So that's simple meter in a nutshell. So 4-4, four, four, hopefully you got it. You're just breaking it up into two parts. Now you might be saying, okay, this is really great. I got this information down. But how is this useful to me in my productions? Well, it's useful to you because you're going to have to choose a meter when you write. And understanding these different meters in these different rhythms is important because when you go after a particular style, you're, maybe it has a meter change or something that's unique to it. Or if you want to be advantageous and go at things that are new, things that have never been thought about, ideas, theories, then you're going to need to know this stuff if you want to like be adventurous and do that kind of a thing. Especially when you're writing out rhythms... Um, well, I'm thinking of sound design now, but there are times when rhythm is represented other ways than the notation and the knowledge of these rhythms will give you that advantage. So after, if you honestly, if you can get this, if you get all the rhythmic section I'm going to be doing, then you've pretty much got, you've got a pretty good grasp on being able to make the rhythms you're going to want to make. That's some of the, the challenge for when you, when I was a brand new composer was I had this melody in my head, but I was terrible at translating a melody into rhythm when I first got started. I think everyone by default starts bad, but I was just not that great at saying and saying, oh, that's what at this tempo and in this meter, I would write out these notes to produce this rhythm. Like you see, there's like this translation that's got to happen. Hopefully it's starting to, to mold into your head like, oh, look it, I have all these options. I can do this. There's a, number, there's a number of ways I could represent that rhythm. And so all these kinds of things start becoming a thing. But this is simple meter, again, referred to as duples. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.